On April 7th, Barcelona tweeted a post featuring the Mona Lisa in blaugrana colors. It might seem like a simple creative move on the eve of a top match, but the message is much deeper. Barcelona see PSG as an enemy. This is an antagonist club whose values are opposite. It's not secret that both clubs hate each other and don't hesitate to show it. Barcelona vs PSG is a battle of different worlds, a football war, one of the biggest confrontations in world football. Barcelona are very open in their participation of Paris Saint-Germain. We are seeing a state-owned club trying to destabilize another club who is participating in the same competition like the Champions League. And that's lack of respect towards FC Barcelona, especially coming from a state-owned club, Joan Laporta said back in 2021. Since then, the enmity between Barcelona and PSG has only increased with Laporta and Al Khalaifi's mutual hostility going beyond any limits. However, this was not always the case. When Laporta returned to Barca in March 2021, an attempt was made to bring Barcelona and PSG back to terms. Before the return leg of the round of last 16, the clubs signed a peace, a plaque that was supposed to settle all conflicts and wars between the clubs. However, this shaky peace didn't last long. Barcelona hoped that Paris Saint-Germain would stop destabilizing their club. But as you know, Paris always dreams of Barca players. This was clearly evident in the transfer of Neymar. It was particularly manifested in the transfer saga of Lionel Messi in 2021, when the Catalans tried to keep Leo. But since January, Al Khalaifi has always been in touch with Messi's father and thus convinced him to move to the Parc de Prince. This was very disliked by the Barcelona management. However, they were unable to keep the gold. Messi quickly accepted PSG's offer, which meant that Paris was keeping an eye on Messi's situation every day and working on this move. It was another big steal. And you can understand Barcelona, which would have taken Messi's departure to a virtual Manchester City easier. In the first day of his arrival in Paris, PSG management asked Leo to wear a t-shirt with the words C, c'est Paris, which translates to We are Paris. A few days later, Barcelona played their first official match without Messi and defeated Real Sociedad. But the main event was the message. The Catalan club sent to Paris Saint-Germain a tweet with Braithwaite. The main hero of the match and the caption We are Barca saying that Barcelona will always be alive and competitive, even without the greatest player in the club's history. Barca's fans supported this message very strongly at the time. The post received almost 60 million likes. Incredible, isn't it? Yes, the rivalry between Barcelona and PSG is something on par with the rivalry with Real Madrid, if we were talking about emotions, first of all. Because historically, Paris Saint-Germain is significantly interior to Barca, while Real Madrid are head and shoulders above all. Anyway, we're a bit distracted, let's move on. If you think that this is the end of Paris Saint-Germain's attempts to destabilize Barcelona, you are deeply mistaken. Now PSG, led by the former Blaugrana coach Luis Enrique, are launching a lot of insights about the coach's desire to see Gavi, Pedri, Frenkie and Pau Cubarsi with Lamine Yamal in the team. They're actually ready to pay 200 million euros for the letter. All this is done to destabilize, to influence the mood within Barcelona and once again irritate Barcelona and their fans. The summer move of Usman Dembélé is another interesting story of Barca's haste. Dembélé, when extending his contract with the Catalans, included a 15 million euro release clause, which the Parisians took advantage of. It was a painful strike for Barcelona and Xavi, who had planned a season with Usman in the starting lineup, but it ultimately accelerated the progress of Lamin Yamal, who is now Barca's main star in attack. We can also recall the Xavi Simons case when one of the most talented players in La Masia was lured away from Barca thanks to a contract of 1 million euros per year. PSG's transfer resentment of Barcelona's attempts to acquire Thiago Silva, David Luiz, Marquinhos and Verratti between 
2012 and 17 has been slightly too much, and now it just seems that Paris see Barca as an option to straighten the team, while the Catalans have essentially stopped luring players who are under contract in Saint-Germain. It turns out that in transfer battles PSG have much more victories over Barca than vice versa, but the transfers of Frenkie de Jong, Lewandowski, Kunde and Gundogan, whom Paris planned to land at different times, speak in favor of the Catalans. Barcelona's greatness remains greater, and many players from all over the world dream of wearing the Blaugrana jersey, while Paris Saint-Germain still have a long way to go to make players want to fight for Paris. The battles between Barcelona and PSG continue in other areas as well. Al Hlaifi is one of the biggest enemies of the Super League project, the creation and organization of which is a joint initiative of Florentino Perez and Joan Laporta. The PSG president is the head of the European Clubs Association ECA. He protects the interest of club operating under UEFA. At the same time, Al Khelaifi, along with UEFA president Ceferin, are constantly attacking the Super League, claiming that it is a dead league that will not be born. However, Paris and Laporta have other plans and have already held many negotiations and managed to attack dozens of clubs to their project. The start of the Super League is planned for 2025-26 season. It will be an alternative to the Champions League. And this is another point of war between Laporta and Al Khelaifi, between Barcelona and PSG. Al Khelaifi has also been one of the biggest critics of the financial leverage policy that Barcelona used in this summer of 2022, which allowed them to sign Lewandowski, Kunde and Rafinha. Is it fair? No, it is not. Is it legal? I'm not sure. If it is allowed, others will do it. UFA has its own financial rules. Everything will be evaluated, the ECA president said at the time, but nothing came of it. At the same time, the same person buys Mbappe and Neymar in one transfer window, hiding behind a loan agreement with Monaco. Yes, yes, Nasser, we believe that you are clean. <laughs> the fact that PSG have a certain cult of hatred for Barcelona is confirmed by a statement from the Parisian club's ultras, from which we quote further. On Wednesday, our team will play Barcelona. Let's be united and push our team. Let's come to the stadium early, put on the red and blue jerseys and make our opponents tremble as soon as they come out to warm up. Barcelona, which is often favored by referees, much feel that they are in more than enemy territory. It's our duty to make the Parc de Prince a fortress of fear for our opponents and thanks to the determination of our team to make it impregnable. Well, it's clear that Paris Saint-Germain fans are still living through remontada of 2017, when Barcelona destroyed PSG in the second leg with a score of 6-1. Back then, only the lazy did not criticize the match referee I take in, and Paris fans created petitions for a replay. Nevertheless, Barca fans need to be wary of PSG ultras on the eve of the return match against Sociedad. That Saint German fans were not allowed to enter Spain because they tried to smuggle a large number of weapons to the match. However, despite everything, Barcelona show that they are not at all afraid of the hostility of PSG and are ready for a fight for a new war. And now, back to that tweet with Mona Lisa in a Barca shirt. Why was it made? In our opinion, this is a pretty cool stunt by FC Barcelona to show off their greatness. PSG want to destabilize Barca? Well, we will respond in kind. This tweet is a pressure on Paris. Look, we are here and Mona Lisa is wearing a Barca shirt. Even if Mona Lisa is with us, we will beat PSG. Barcelona fans were happy with the section right. At the same time, they write that it was this tweet that angered the Paris Saint-Germain ultras and it was after that they released their statement. Leonardo da Vinci's painting Mona Lisa is located in the Louvre in Paris and is considered one of the main symbols of the French capital. This is an assault on the sacred. But Barca didn't stop there and posted the following tweet. The motto, always Barca, on the backdrop of the Eiffel Tower, Barcelona have no mercy for PSG. And again, Barcelona are playing with another symbol of the Paris Saint-Germain, Paris and France. We absolutely love 
love this rivalry and want some more. Aren't you entertained yet? So friends, we are waiting for an incredible confrontation, which is the most emotionally intense in the Champions League quarterfinals. If you are looking forward to this match, subscribe to our channel, it will get even more interesting. Football Club, a channel of quality football journalism, was with you. Take care and watch the suggested videos. Bye-bye.